Joining us here today is Harrison to demonstrate a man-in-the-middle attack. Harrison, thank you for coming. What is a man-in-the-middle attack? All right, well, for the sake of being technical, I'm going to refer to this as an ARP cache poisoning attack. Now, an ARP is an address resolution protocol. Um, now, each device on a network uses this to build a table of all the other devices on a network. Um, now, in the table, it contains um, each device's MAC address and its corresponding IP address. Um, now, they do this by sending out a series of ARP requests and ARP responses. The problem with this is uh, it's susceptible to attack. Um, we can exploit this vulnerability uh, between two computers, A and B, or two devices, um, by telling each one that we're the other. So, this will allow us to kind of uh, intercept the traffic, like eavesdrop. Yeah, all we're doing is position ourselves in between two devices, for example, your computer and the firewall, and uh, we can pick up all the network traffic in between them. Sounds great. So what do we need to get this done? Uh, well, we're going to use uh, a couple of tools. The first thing I like to do is get a little bit of, uh, do a little bit of enumeration on the network um, with a security scanner. In this case, I'm going to use Nmap um, because the, the tool that we'll use to do the ARP attack actually has a built-in scanner, mm -hmm. but it's not quite as detailed and uh, it doesn't allow us to do port scans. Well, so. Nmap's also open source and, hey, you know, it's cool because it was in the Matrix. It was in the Matrix. I, yeah, there was a real attack in the Matrix. Uh, Matrix 2. So I'm going to use Nmap, and uh, since I'm already on the network, I know the subnet. So I can simply scan and find out what all the other devices are. Okay. Um, now I can tell by the uh, names of the computers that since you are using the <laughs> Solomon Extreme International, that your IP address is... 192.168.1.102. Hey, it's an extreme interface, man. <laughs> and obviously the router is 192.168.1.1. Um, so I'm going to do a port scan on you. That way I can get an idea of what kind of uh, apps you're running and what ports you have open. And while that's running, I'm going to go ahead and start up Kane Enable, which is a totally script kitty tool, I know, but uh, I'm assuming that all of our viewers, or most of them, are, are, are running Windows. And uh, it works. Hey, as long as it gets the job done, right? Exactly. Uh, if you are using Unix, though, um, which I do mainly, I would definitely uh, suggest you check out a tool called Ettercap, which does the job you know, just as well, if not better, than Kane. So we're going to go ahead and start our sniffer in Kane and scan the MAC addresses. Now, as you can see, it builds a pretty good list of all of the uh, devices on the network. So we'll switch tabs here, select the firewall, and Darren's computer. Go ahead and press this button, with, uh, button, which will start the attack. So now we're poisoning, and so the firewall thinks I'm Darren's computer, and Darren's computer thinks I'm the firewall. So I'm going to pull up Etherreal, and as you can see, our in-map scan is finished. Um, so let's make sure that you, when you're, you're running Etherreal, you choose the right. Uh, the right network device. I'm, I'm actually plugged into the network, so I'm going to use my wired Ethernet, uh, Ethernet device. And now I am scanning the network. So, why don't you go ahead and send Wes an instant message. You know what? Uh, Wes signed off, but I will talk to John okay. or anyone else online right now. Now, as, as you probably can see, um, I can type in AIM, which is the name of the protocol in Etherreal, hit enter, and it'll filter out so that we, uh, it'll filter um, the traffic so we only see the AIM traffic. Now I can, I, I can look through the traffic and uh, I notice that you're talking to somebody called the Wine Cork. Yep, that's one of our viewers. And the message you just sent him says, you there with a question mark. Right. Um, I just noticed an incoming transmission that says, hey. Mm -hmm. uh, and another outgoing that said, we're doing a segment right now. So there you go. As you can see, uh, right. we're picking up all the traffic. And um, uh, the other thing I want to point out is using Kane Enable, we can also sniff up passwords, uh, mm -hmm. HTTP passwords, and, unless, of course, you're using uh, like SSL. And that's um, one of the countermeasures, and we'll get into that yep, another yep. time with how to protect yourself yep. from this attack. Which I would highly recommend using Gmail if you don't have it already because that's SSL. They're, they're SSL. All right, Harrison, that looks pretty neat. Let's see if you can get my FTP password for hack5.tv, which is where we keep the episode files. Sure thing. Logging into FTP now. 
with a test account. I got it right here. Uh, let's see. Username is test at hack5.tv and the password is <laughs> lame password. That's exactly right. <laughs> well, it certainly is a lame password. Um, all right, well, uh, now that we have demonstrated it on our network, you want to go try it out on somebody else's? <laughs> okay, you want to <laughs> hit up the campus or the coffee shop? Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. So there's, there's a guy behind us, he's, he's inside the coffee shop, okay, and he is, can you hear me? Yeah, sorry about the volume, we don't have any wireless mics yet, uh, there's, there's buy t-shirts, maybe we can afford them. There's a guy using uh, his little Ivo G4, and he looks like a total sucker, a college student, let's go see him. Okay, alright, so here we are, we're connected to the Lynx's wireless network here at the coffee shop. Okay, bam, alright, we've got traffic, what do we have here? Oh, we got it right as he disconnected from his IMAP server. Oh, Yahoo Messenger. Ooh, Yahoo Messenger. YMSG. So, YMSG. Great. We got uh, definitely uh, full routing on two different uh, two different computers. So we're opening two different computers at the same time. If we switch over to and if we Ether head over to Etherreal, you can check out here is Yahoo me Instant Messenger traffic as well as IMAP traffic for email. Yeah, scroll down. We just got some more. Uh... So we can just go down this list. And there's tons of traffic to go through, but we could save this. And Kane will save any of the passwords that are going through this list. So, there we go.